This is a huge day for Moorhead State University. NASA just announced the selection of 13 secondary payloads on EM-1, Exploration Mission 1. It's the maiden voyage of the largest rocket ever built in the history of the world, the Space Launch System. It's going to fly in 2018, and the first time it flies, it's going to swing around the moon. It's going to have uh, the Orion capsule, but it's not going to have astronauts. They're going to carry 13 small spacecraft, and they're going to go to various destinations, Moorhead States uh, and its partners, Lunar Ice Cube mission has been selected as one of the payloads. This is a lunar uh, flashlight. It also has a microscope of a neutron spectrometer and earlier mentioned of laser spectroscopy. This has an infrared spectrometer which is very compact. Uh, it's, it's called the Lunar Ice Cube, a uh, development activity with Goddard Space Flight, uh, led by Morehead uh, State University, uh, BUSEC and Goddard Space Flight Center. This particular infrared spectrometer will uh, actually help delineate uh, the water species, whether it's water, water ice, and uh, and make several passes and make us help a composite model. You have no idea how excited I am for this right now. The amount of steps. When I remember when I first came here, we were just, you know, we were just, we just moved into the new building. We were trying to get ourselves off the ground. And to make this kind of stride is absolutely incredible for us. I mean, Moorhead, Kentucky, it's unfathomable where we come and where we're going to go. It's pretty darn exciting for the students. You can imagine they literally are going to get their fingerprints on the moon, on the surface of the moon. So the spacecraft, once it launches, is going to get a ride to Earth escape uh, with a space launch system. But we don't really have enough fuel and enough propulsion system to go directly there. It took the astronauts three days to get to the moon. It's going to take us 187 days. Uh, small propulsion. I mean, this spacecraft is the size of, you know, a large cereal box. So you can't put a lot of fuel, can't put big propulsion systems. So it takes a long time to get there. But we're going to be in orbit around the moon for the better part of a year and then ultimately we're going to spiral down after we've mapped the distribution of water ice and look how uh, tr try to determine how water ice moves from the mid latitudes to the permanently shattered regions but then the cool thing is at the end we actually get to crash the spacecraft into the moon so the students will literally have their fingerprints on the surface of the moon when it's done uh, from somebody that's wanted to work in this business since I was young uh, it's basically coming to flourishing a dream that I've had to finally take these skill sets that I've learned over the course of many years and put them to what I consider to be a truly uh, a truly noble use. It's been uh, about almost a full year now of work uh, of subsystem definitions, all the components of the satellite, um, identifying who can supply technologies, who can't, um, and, uh, and then bringing those all in, getting them assembled. You saw some of the nice pictures that were created. Um, all of those things have to come together. But this is an actual full-scale model, uh, 3D printed of, of the spacecraft, so you can see its internal components, and you can see at least one of the solar arrays there, actually two, so when it falls out it, get, it gets pretty big. So it's about 20 centimeters in this axis, it's about 10 centimeters in this axis, and it's about 33 centimeters in this axis. So basically the size of a, of a large cereal box. Well, it's an eight and a half, nine million dollar contract, so it's the largest contract probably in the history of the institution. Uh, but it's incredible the technology that you can fit in something the size of a, of a carry-on suitcase these days. This is uh, the culmination, uh, or actually maybe the start of the culmination of a lot of effort on our part on, and the team members. Because it's not just Moorhead State, we're the prime, but it's uh, Goddard Spaceflight, JPL, Busek. I mean, there's other companies that are involved in this that uh, we're, we're partnering with, but uh, it's, it's an exciting time to be part of this program here at MSU.